Ah, my unpaid volunteers are mining Timberium, windmills are making me electricity, and biters are probably new. Ah, what a beautiful view. Today, I'll show you a list of 50 Factorio mods you can't live without. Quality of life, game changers, new biters, new weapons, and this. Okay, maybe not this one. Link to every single mod from this video is of course in the description, next to a subscribe button which you should click, I hope. But without any further ado, let's go with the very first mod. You shouldn't be surprised that Squeak True is on this list. Thanks to it, you can walk through pipes, solar panels, miners, piles of dead bodies, or other impassable objects from the game. Now building your factory will be easier than ever. If normal biters are too boring for you, then you have to install a rampant. It will turn all the biters into little Albert Einsteins and soon Zeus combine it, they will find the weakest defenses points and attack them. But first they will simply do a supply attack on your iron train. So you will quickly run out of bullets. To make everything even more challenging, this mod adds 12 new biters types. So I recommend it to only true Factorio pros. This mod is a simple one, but at the same time it's very nice. Instead of placing lamps everywhere, you can simply build a power pole and have light around. To make everything better, this mod detects power poles from other mods and automatically as their glowing equivalent. If vanilla tank is not enough for your needs, then a laser hovercraft should do the job. Use four new vehicles to travel on land and water with ease. Nuking your neighbors was never that easy. Here are the stats for all the hovercraft. Some of them are quick and some are tanky. Also, electric hovercraft has equipment grid like spiletrons. Quality of life features like this one should be implemented to a core game, but they aren't. So we have this mod instead. Automatic train fuel stop does exactly what you think it does. Simply set up a functional train network and build a fueling stop with train stop from this mod. Now whenever train is running low on fuel, it will simply resupply itself. Auto deconstruct will automatically deconstruct all miners that run out of resources. It's just extremely simple quality of life mod. There is nothing more to explain. So let's go to the next mod. Do you also fix all your charging problems by just building more robots? What if I tell you there is an easier answer to it with more robots. This mod has incredible charging robot which can charge up to 32 bots at the same time with super speed. Instead of spawning normal robots, you can simply build one but a good one. You can also use robots with a huge construction area and grow your base quicker. Having a fully grown factory is an awesome feeling, but factory like this will cause harm to the local ecosystem, which I like of course. However, it will also result in tons of attacks from the bugs. With this mod, you can simply filter pollution and reduce those attacks. It won't reduce evolution threat, but it's still a nice addition. I can't imagine starting a new world without nanobots. There is nothing better than having a little friends which will help you build your blueprints. I love this mod because you have to craft nanobots which make everything pretty balanced. There is also extra logic which for example automatically chops wood for you. There is way not enough time to explain the full space exploration, but I still want to talk about it. This is a huge modification to Factorio which has space travel, new science, craftings and tons of new mechanics. I recommend this mod only to people who beat Factorio at least few times, since you need this experience to play it. And instead of the next mod we have NordVPN. Have you ever wanted to watch your favorite frog doing frog stuff? But his video became unavailable in your country for some unknown reason. No worries. Just change the country of your computer to the land of freedom and watch stuff blocked by your government. It works for YouTube, Netflix, Disney Plus and other platforms. Just watch whatever you like wherever you are. Use NordVPN to protect your connection with a few simple clicks. Without it, your data travels insecurely through the internet and it might be stolen by your enemies. You don't want it. They can use it to send you the DDoS attacks on your IP and firewall won't be enough. Or they will stole passwords and get access to your most valuable things. If you want to keep safe your bank account, crypto, stocks and the most important one, the Factorio account, use VPN while logging to those services to encrypt everything. Confuse your FBI agent by being in Canada, Netherlands or in space. Go to nordvpn.com slash trupen and get your VPN now to browse internet securely on your own rules. Use code trupen to get an awesome deal of 4 months free and 30 days money back guarantee if you change your mind. The big thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Hero Turrets is one of those mods which adds a very little detail to the game, which is automatic upgrade to all the turrets. Your turrets will simply evolve like Pokemons by killing biters. Each level will increase their health, range and action speed of everything. 
The only downside of this mod is dealing with the blueprints, because they don't work too good with different targets there. At some point your base becomes too big to just walk or even drive around it. In this case you should invest in airplane. It is the easiest way to travel around, scout new areas and transfer items with cargo plane. You can also use those aircraft to spread democracy around the world. Big storage tank. Story of fluids. 1 million fluids. 1M. This is literally the name of this mod and I think you already have a slight, little, mini idea what it adds to the game. This huge tank will store tons of fluids and building it is way easier than placing a multiple small storages. I myself use it to store oil, oil and oil. But you can use it to store for example oil. Good use. Editor extension is a pack of cheats for those who want to test new mechanics, design blueprints, benchmark something or test their mods. It adds stuff like infinity, logistic chest, huge beacons with experimenting modules like pollution modules, void chest, infinity trains, wagons and many more. It's obviously not meant for a normal playthrough, but for quick testing it's the best. Like this whole video was made using this mod. Setting minor spaghetti every time I get tedious at some point. Luckily you can use power of exploitation and higher inters to mine ore for you. They don't need electricity to work and you can set up what type of ore they will mine. It's not recommended for huge bases due to performance issues, but any small base with less than 50 outposts should be fine. It's another vehicle mod. This time you will get access to armored locomotives, rocket platforms and other weapons. My favorite train is radar train, which scans terrain around it. Those trains are great, but if you decide to build a military Third train, just be careful how you handle your news, since it might be a little bit problematic. If you don't want to have any vehicle, you can also turn yourself into vehicle. This mod adds 4 new jetpacks which are add-ons to your modular armor. Make a special turbo thruster suite and fly around with the speed of inflation. Be careful when you fly around biters, since they can disable your jetpacks if you get hit. Electric furnaces adds electric furnaces and something way better, which is electric boiler. Transition to 3x3 electric furnaces was always a pain in the neck. Now you can simply change your stone or electric furnaces into electric version with few clicks. About boilers, I love them because storing hot steam from solar energy is way easier than building accumulators fields. I don't know if I can call this mod a quality of life mod, but it's definitely a nice visual add-on to the game. Bullet trays are great to look at when you fight biters and they look even better during nights. You was probably living under the rock if you haven't heard about even distribution. It's one of the best quality of life modification which allows you to toss materials with a single click. You can just press shift C and all the trash from your inventory will be added to assemblers or chest around. It can be also used as an offensive weapon with turret creeping. Resource map labor marker automatically generates those nice labels for your ores. I can fly around to generate new chunks and when I open the map you can see that all ores are nicely named. It's not a game changer modification, but it's always nice to have it. Thanks to merging chests you can build huge warehouses for items. But the best you can do with this mod is to use it as a balancer. Instead of building normal belt balancers, you can place white chests and use it to fill for example train wagons evenly. You can also use it basically as a main bus. However, use some circuits to don't overfill the chest. Vanilla Factorio has only uranium and it might get boring over time. So what about building plutonium reactors? Extracting plutonium is a very complicated process, but you will have a lot of fun building it. New types of nuclear weapon is also a nice addition. This is a vanilla nuclear bomb and that's a plutonium version. You can also use plutonium tank shells while talking with biters. Feel for me is a way simpler version of event distribution, but it's still a nice quality of life mod to have. Whenever you place a furnace, turret or vehicle, it will be automatically filled with ammunition and fuel. It saves you a lot of clicking by building your first smelter and automatic fueling is just great. Keeping all your trains fueled all the time might be hard, however, it's getting way way easier with electric trains. This mod adds 3 new e-locomotives which are way faster than normal ones and don't require fueling. You just need to build a power provider somewhere in your base. To make this mod even better, Autor added 2 additional tiers of wagons for cargo and fluid with bigger storage. Have you ever built a refinery and your fluids inputs or outputs haven't matched with the design? With fluid permutation you can choose where you'll put an input fluid. Simply press Ctrl plus Shift plus I to choose 
choose where your output should go, press Ctrl Shift R. Now refineries will be easier to optimize. Ammo Alert is an extremely simple quality of life mod, which will highlight all the turrets with low amount of ammunition on the map. To make it even better, you will get a pop-up in the right bottom corner to find those unsupplied turrets easier. Infinity Technologies is another quality of life mod, it also one of my favorite. It adds three new researches. First one will increase battery size of all your bots. Second will increase the maximum amount of items inserters can handle. And the third one will increase capacity of your construction and logistic bots, which is awesome. Floating damage tags adds floating damage tags when you shoot something. Next mod, Bottleneck, is a mod that should be implemented to a core game. But for now we have this mod. Huge indicators on all your machines will give you all necessary information to find any bottleneck. Hmm. That kind of explained the name. So, for example, there's a missing inserter and now you can spot it with ease. Walls can take up out of space and instead of it being wasted, you can use it to produce electricity. Simply use solar walls and look how your power production is growing. You can install this mod to existing world and use upgrade planner to change your normal walls. The biggest problem of this mod is the fact that biters not gonna pay for this wall. Ability to write in Factorio will let you build, for example, those mod names. You can also use it to name section of your base, like this building train and mall. The best use for it, in my opinion, is to name your combinators, so you and everybody else will know what kind of spaghetti have you brought. What's more, if you have lovely patrons like I do, you can use this mod to put their nicknames into the game. This mod materials the American dream in Factorio. Because what can be better than more guns? Tons of new weapons will definitely make the whole gameplay more interesting. Lasers, guns, missiles, rocket launchers, grenade droppers and many more. I can't show you everything, so I'll give you a chance to explore them on your own. There are players who don't like spaghetti. Weird. But if you're one of those people, then Helmod is for you. You can plan your whole production before building it. This way you will always keep correct ratio of items. You can choose what modules, furnaces or assemblers are you using to have the most accurate calculation. This was an awesome modification before Research Queue was added to the game. But it's still a viable option right now. It will automatically pick a new research, so you don't need to worry about anything. The best use for it is in a huge basis which constantly research new infinity technologies. There is nothing more annoying than driving in factory multiplayer, but even on single player it's not always easy task, especially when you have the fastest nuclear fuel. This mod changes how cars behave making them easier to drive. Now your car can only rotate by fixed angle resulting in smoother driving experience. This mod is meant only for people who want to feel true immersion while playing factory. Now your reactor will need constant supply of cooling water, because otherwise it will explode. How Causing huge pollution cloud and damage to nearby buildings. The only way to fix exploded reactor is by building a concrete sarcophag like the one in the Chernobyl. This is a very funny modification which will automatically set roads to your belts. Simply set starting and ending point for your belt and pathfinding algorithm will do the rest. Here let's try it in my refinery. It needs some time to find the best path but then it's building a beautiful spaghetti. Well recommended. Alien biomes doesn't add any new items but totally changes the landscape of Nauvis. New biomes will definitely make your playthrough more interesting. My favorite biome is of course this rocky terrain, but you can explore on your own and find what you'll enjoy the most. This is one of the most iconic modifications to Factorio. It adds walkable warehouses which you can fill with whatever machinery you like. This is for example a smelting factory which inside takes a lot of space, but outside it's actually pretty small. You can also play different challenges because there is no limit of how many factories you can put inside factories. Just embrace factory reception. What is better than guns? Electric guns. Test new electric rifles on local wildlife. If rifles are not enough, you can also try electric rockets. Your base will also get new upgrade thanks to different types of electric turrets. It's always good to have more options to choose from. This feature is highly requested by the community, but according to developers, they will never add it to the core game. Q to front does exactly what you think it does. When you press Alt Q, you will change a crafting mode and whatever you craft will always go to front. It's always annoying to defend your outposts. 
because when something got damaged you have to repair it by hand. Luckily this mod will make defending easier. Our player constructions will get a shield. So if something attack your construction it won't be damaged until shield got absorbed. Just remember to build this huge beacon which will provide that shield. Atomic artillery can do this. Yeah, I shouldn't do that. So this mod has nuclear shells which can be delivered with artillery on nearby insects. It's expensive to craft the nuclear shells so be careful how you use them. About using them. They work perfectly on the artillery train and clearing your land is a pure pleasure. Factoria and Conquer Timberium Down is a quite big mod that adds new resources like this green Timberium which grows near those weird trees. This is the science tree and you can see there are few researches to make. I don't want to spoil you this mod too much. So I will simply use some Timberium rockets on fighters instead. This mod completely changes the early game to a more interesting version. You have to research way more to discover electricity. Here is an example of a small early game factory which produced only red science packs. By the way, my favorite building in this mod is fuel processing, which can take any burnable item and turn it into fuel. Knights will be more bearable with this mod. For example, you can see a light around my engineer in addition to a normal flashlight. You can also craft perfect night vision goggles which works way better than vanilla one. I also have to mention new lamps, which are way brighter than their vanilla equivalent. Descriptions in Factorio could be longer. And this is exactly what this mod does. Here is a beacon with new informations like module slots, reject modules and building dimensions. However, this mod shines the most when you install other modification and you want to find out what new machines do. This mod adds 5 new furnaces so you can upgrade your smelters to even more tiers. The nice feature is the ability to choose a recipe for each furnace. It also adds 2 new recipes to make steel directly from iron ore and to make coal from wood. Since those furnaces are very quick, this mod also adds loaders and even faster belts. Space block is an awesome scenario which is a factor equivalent of Minecraft Skyblock. It's not as complicated as C block, what makes it a perfect casual playthrough. You start on a small block and you have to progress by crafting resources in assemblers. I've been enjoying this modification lately and this is my few hours base. There is still tons of mods to talk about, but I don't want to make this video too long. So if you enjoy my content and want to see a sequel of this video, then feel free to leave a like or even a sub. YouTube algorithm needs this. And if you are extra generous, you can become my patron like those lovely people. Thank you for watching and there is a funny video for you. Ciao! Mwah.